It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see which conference reigns supreme today. It's the Los Angeles Chargers and the Arizona Cardinals under the lights on Monday night. On a spot of land that was once desert, now stands the city of Glendale in a building filled to the brim with fans, State Farm Stadium. Joined by a former NFL quarterback, up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to, because I know you have quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today, because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, Either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right over him for big yardage, and maybe six points too. Chad Ryland will have the honor of getting us started. And here we go at State Farm Stadium. Where is Davis to return it? He stopped on the return at the 27. So now out comes the Charger offense for their initial drive of the game. They'll be let out by the fifth-year pro who can really fill up a stat sheet, Justin Herbert. True story. First time I saw Justin Herbert at a Pac-12 media days, I thought, that can't be Justin Herbert. That guy looks like a defensive lineman. He is massive. But then you watch him play and you realize he's one of those six foot five, six foot six guys that's the athlete of a six two. The way that he moves so effortlessly, the way that rocket arm could throw the ball all over the field, and hyper hyper productive statistically. Kind of like that Fox guy that wore the lightning bolt before him on any given Sunday. This guy can put on a show. To his back, J.K. Dobbins, and he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. Second and three now. From the pistol, it's Herbert. This is really in by Joshua Palmer. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. This one goes for an even 25 yards. And it brings up an L.A. first down. Quarterback never stared down the receiver, but he kept his eyes downfield until he found that open window as that posse route finds and beats own coverage. First and 10 from the 41. Here's Herbert. He's on the move. He takes it himself. It's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. Receiver in motion, headed right. It's a sweep, he pops the pass forward. And he's going to be brought down after running this to the eight. He made it six on the play, bringing up second and four. Well, this offense is trying to keep the defense off balance down here in the red zone. Mixing in receiver runs with everything else they love to do. And the best part is, it's working. He gets in several yards on that play. Herbert from the gun. It was there, but it couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. That just 
just goes to show you can't take any completion for granted, even on some of the shortest passes in the game plan. No connection on the last play, and out third down. Now Herbert again. Cut near the goal line. And then go down shy of the end zone. They mark him at the four. All you can do is shake your head sometimes. Sure, the pass play works, but they come up just an inch or two short for the first day. Only need the length of the football. It's fourth and inches. Surprise gift to the receiver near the goal line. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. And they get to him just in time. That's a tackle for the stand and a turnover on downs. I think this defense was resigned to giving up three points on the opening series. Instead, well, they got the chance to deny them anything. And boy, did they ever attack it. So here are the Cardinals now, headed out for their first drive. They'll be led out by the 60-year pro and former number one overall pick out of Oklahoma, Kyler Murray. A reconstructed knee limited Kyler Murray to just eight games a season ago. But in those eight games, Kate, we got a chance to see those feet once again come to life. Man, is he dynamic when he's 100%. And when he can complement that running ability with some accuracy and anticipation in the passing game, this guy is a nightmare for defensive coordinators to contain. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Plenty to start this drive with Connor. And he's brought down after a nice run and some extra effort. Give him nine yards. He almost moved the chains there. It's going to be second and one. This dude was just not going to be stopped. Not by the first defender. Heck, not even by the second one who was able to bring him down. No, it took a few shots before this crew could finally get this beast down. On second down, a run with Connor. He breaks the tackle. And he gets up close to the 25 before he's out of bounds. That's a pickup of nine. And that's a Cardinals first down. That's a play that won't pop on the stat sheet, but the players and coaches won't forget about it. I promise you that. Coaches will file that one away the next time. They really need to pick up a few yards. First and ten, Murray. Got his man, that's Zay Jones. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. Now Murray on the play fake. Well, offenses that connect in this intermediate zone are so effective. Getting the completion in that area, it not just sparks your offense, but it just turns that aggressive meter way up. They just couldn't quite find the connection. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. From the gun, it's Murray. He's got Harrison. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy in midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. Given 15 yards on the pickup there. And it'll be first down, Arizona. Running left, it's Connor. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. Running it after the penalty. And he's only able to power this forward for about three yards. to the line for second down. Out 
Out of the gun. Here's Murray. Has a man. That's Greg Dorch. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. Here we go. Third and less than a yard. Throwing here, Murray. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Tough one to retain through that hit. And it's fourth and short. We'll see if they go for it. I think in a situation like that, third and inches, defense is certainly thinking stop the run first. But that's well done defensively. Not a problem for them to adapt and get into the right coverage and now force a critical fourth down. He's got to his right. A game of 10 and staring at a turnover on downs, Brock. They pick up the first instead. Oh, I love fourth downs. It just brings out the very best, and you get to see how you handle the most pressure. And it turns out well, they handled it pretty darn well, and now they'll keep pushing. Great opening drive continues. First and 10 at the 33. Handoff goes to Connor on the left, and the defense gets there to force a small loss. That's got to be so frustrating for the runner. You're fighting the good fight. He even ripped through a tackle to stay afloat. But the blocking can't buy you enough time or room to even get back to the line of scrimmage. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Operating from the gun. Here's Murray. Balls out of the pocket quick. And he's going to be stopped at the 17-yard line. Give him 18 yards on that play, Brock, and it gets him a first down. They kick the running back in motion. Murray here on first down. Catch his man in close. Touchdown, Arizona. So a touchdown on the board for Rock as they start this game off a perfect one for one offensively. You know, I'm going to call that scripting for success right there. Mm. Can't do it much better than that. And listen, when you script these first plays, you don't always know who the targets are going to be. It's really then relying upon what the defense is trying to take away. They couldn't take away that big old tight end. On his Chad Ryland for the point after. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Cardinals will jump out to a 7-0 lead. Set now for the kickoff. Ryland with the honors. Fielded at the seven. They'll have decent field position to begin with here. Bronkies tackled just beyond that 30-yard line. The Chargers get their offense set for their second drive. They took their shot on fourth and goal. Came away empty-handed. So a lot to like, Brock, but just need to find a way to punch it in this time. Chargers will have a first. 
You know, Coach gets in that QB's headset, probably told his offense and his QB, listen, I don't want to see a third down on this possession. Or something kind of like that. Whatever version he told him, it worked. Going to the ground again on first. And he gets this beyond the midfield stripe and onto the Cardinals' side of the field. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. Hey, you get that ball in your belly, baby. You got almost no time to process what the line's gonna do. You better make your decision and get it downhill. Excellent vision to find the opening and get things started well here on first down. They go play action. Here's Herbert. Escapes the pocket. All the time in the world. And he's gonna be blocked down after reaching the 43. It's one of those situations. Not much to be had there, no matter what he did with the ball. Even if he scraped a positive gain out of it, that's still a win and a confidence builder for this defense. Third and just two to go. Going for the first with Dobbins. And his short gain gets them a new set of downs. Okay, you know me, I can't resist. I thought we might have needed the old Gene Steratore index card down there. <laughs> Picking a really close measurement to see if he got the first down or not. But the end, well, the right call was made. He got just enough to move the chains. First down, and they go right back to it. And it's going to be about a three-yard pickup in the end. Zayden Collins in on the tackle. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. Neither side separating much so far. We'll return to State Farm Stadium in just a moment. Chargers ball as we get back for the second, and they are thinking points. Back to Dobbins on first. He's able to manage a couple on that run. shows up as passing yards, but any defensive coordinator will take it. Understanding down and distance and keeping that offense short of the sticks. So on fourth down, on comes Cameron Dicker and the Chargers for a field goal try. This only a chip shot from the right hand. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And it's dropped back down now to a four-point game. You, know, you look at that third down play, looking back, and it really turns into a three-point play. It's why situational work is so critical. Coaches talk about it all the time. Sure, you love the field goal, but man, they would have loved to touch down more. Executed exactly how they drew it up, Brock. Early lead, no points allowed, 
And a chance now to seize control of the game on their second possession. And Kate, generally offenses love to script their first 10 to 15 plays. Well, this entire game script is playing out just the way they want to. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. Back to throw, Murray. He's got him, that's McBride. It's a great pickup, 16 yards, and now they've got first down. Sometimes you're looking to push the ball down the field. But as I've said before, the crumbs lead to a cookie. And you never go broke taking a profit, and those big tight ends will often find you those easy check down yards. A jolt to start that drive. They're up near the 45-yard line. The first down carry for Connor. Having gained about a handful there. Brought down on the effort by Derwin James. First down play, nets him five. It's going to be second and five. From the 47. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Now Kyler. Throwing all the way to the end zone here. more on the old quarterback instinct there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes on both of them. And that play happens so fast that it really is instincts on both sides. <laughs> Ryland now for the extra points. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Cardinals drive their lead to 11. Set now for the kickoff. Ryland with the honors. Starting from the five. The return manages to get just beyond the 30. The Chargers are getting the ball back as J.K. Dobbins runs out there. And down double digits, Brock. Field goals like we saw in their last drive aren't going to move the needle as much as they need to. Got first down from the 31. They run the counter with Dobbins. Has not been much beyond the line, a yard at most. Sean Murphy Bunting ranging over for that stop. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. This defense may have been headed the wrong way initially on that counter run, but they never lost contain. Is that play shifted back? They flown with it and caught him before he could break it up the sideline. And the pistol, it's Herbert. He's on the move. Oh, he was on the move, and so is the defense, and they take him down. And that pushes him back, third down, coming up. It's looking like a trade of three now offensively, but listen, if you can't keep the quarterback clean and upright, you're going to need some magic, big-time magic, to convert on this third and long. This offense looking to convert as they come up on third down. Herbert escapes the pocket. He's running for it. Just not much to do right there, whether he wanted to run it or throw it. Even if he scraped a positive gain out of it, that's still a win for this defense. So 
So on fourth down, here's J.K. Scott. Time to punt it away for the Chargers. He has it at the 33. And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return. The Cardinals and receiver Zay Jones getting set for this next drive. They have played lights out on offense. Scored their first two times out, Bronk. A chance to go three for three and grow that lead here. The Cardinals with some nice field position to start off this drive. First and ten coming up. Here's Connor on the option. And this is a nice game. It's stopped at the 47. Call it nine yards. Looks like a first for a moment. It's second and one. Play action now. Murray. But still plenty of options left on third and short. Shotgun handoff to Connor. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. It was University of Wisconsin, Kate. The first time I heard this term, slow to explode to. And think how good that Badgers run game has been at the college level. Well, they made runs like that look easy. Slow to explode through. On first and ten, it's Murray. Nothing there left side as it ends up incomplete. Connect on first, it's second down. Going with Connor here. Down the sideline inside the 30. He'll move the sticks after ripping off a gain of 28. Those outside runs so critical for running back, quarterback, O line to hit their targets. They got a target area to expose that defense and make the most of it. And that offense just put on display some teaching tape for it. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. Right back to Connor. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. The game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. here following the penalty and he'll go down looks like they're marking him at the 11. you know you love some of my buzzwords kid i know you do and this one this one was about real power he got to rock a long way from the chains and put his teammates on his back for a heck of a run and a great try at that first down second down now seven to go it's connor again So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes them back quite a ways. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Connor on the inside give. And he's stopped out at the 16 after a small gain. Only two yards on the run, and they're left with third and 11. Connor. 
I'm a big fan of the screen pass. Really, you can run a screen as they just showed on any play. First, second, third down, sometimes even fourth. But it takes great acumen, a great football IQ defensively to have an awareness it's coming, and then more importantly, to stop it. They snap it to Murray. He finds it the other And he'll get them enough for a first down. So close to getting off the field. But the fourth down conversion keeps that defense out there. That was their shot to end this possession, to sit on the bench, to get their breath. But now they're going to have to buckle down and force another fourth down. Connor! Three drives, three touchdowns. It has been wash, rinse, repeat for them offensively, Brock, as, well, we all wait for this defense final little backbone before this becomes a runaway. Yeah, I'm a little torn up here in this booth because you're exactly right. Offensively, this is just machine, surgical. Defensively, you're running the risk of being embarrassed here pretty quickly. Ryland now for the extra points. The point after splits the uprights. And the Cardinals push their lead to 18. All set now for the kickoff. Ryland with the honors. On the return, here comes Davis. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. The Chargers offense getting set to take over. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. Starts out with a first and ten. Throwing now, Herbert. Getting out to his left. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And a big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Desperation is a tricky thing, Kate. You love defenses when they're desperate and they're just playing on edge. But offensively, you're in a hole like this. The worst thing you could do is get desperate in a sack. Oh, it only adds further insult to injury. Offense to the line for second down. Trying again, following the sack. Completed here to Johnston. And it's a nice game, but still not enough for the first. Cardinals going nickel here, third down. Herbert from the gun. Has him on the quick hitter. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. I can't tell you how nice it is to have a big, trustworthy tight end in the passing game. Such great size to have, and he forces those defenses to find a way to try to match up when they can't. Going on first is Herbert. Short pass brought in. And he's going to go down right along the midfield strike. Following that completion, remember the O-line looks to be in some pain. They're headed out to take a look at him now.
and they've got themselves another first and ten. Herbert throwing again. He's into the hands of Will Disley. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. Chargers lined up in punt formation. On the return for the Cardinals, DJ Dallas. And this was pylon on hunting for a moment, but it's over the goal line and out the side of the end zone for a touchback. The Cardinals and running back James Conner headed back to the field. They're out and set, first and ten. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Nick Bryan hauls it in. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. He picks up 15 on the play. And that's a Cardinals first down. Set up at the 35 now. Murray here on first down. Snared by the running back. Here's Trey Benson. And he's going to be blocked out at the 42. Second and three now. From the 42. Flushed out of the pocket. We've got a fumble pretty close to midfield. Unfortunately, the Cardinals made it to that one first. They'll maintain possession. Offense set for a first and ten. On the gun, it's Murray. That's complete. Here's Connor. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. The good defense is in this league. Every once in a while, they can bait a quarterback into a throw. And you do that by having eyes on the quarterback. Getting to a good drop, forcing that check down. And they'd only just bait him into a completion. But they knocked him backwards after the catch. Operating from the gun, here's Murray. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And he reaches midfield and starts driving into Chargers territory. A less than ideal third and eight here. Murray set up to throw. He's going to loft one deep to the left. Incomplete pass, and we're down to 12 seconds remaining. Marvin Harrison Jr., the intended target. And that brings up fourth and long. The defender's not going to be thrilled the catch was almost made on his watch, but more importantly, he breaks it up. Gives him a chance to do a little giant after the play. Let's the other guy know he roughed him up and cost him that catch. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And it sails out of bounds. That's a good kick. Got all the way down to what looks like the 10-yard line before leaving the field. And 
They've got first and ten, Brock, but time for maybe two plays at most if they even want to try anything. Yep, as expected, they go to the ground to start this one off. He's corralled after a modest four-yard gain. Luna Baker bringing that one to an end. So it's halftime here in Glendale with the Cardinals out in front. Now we'll send you to our studios in Orlando and Jonathan Coachman for a look around the league with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. We'll let you and Brock catch your breath as we welcome the rest of you to our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a solid first half for the always dangerous Kyler Murray. He fired his guys into the lead with two first-half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well-oiled machine in the first half of play. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break. Kids, we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Dicker all lined up and ready to boot it away. Here's Greg Dortch with the return. Good-looking return here, and he's got room. Tackle made as the return gets it out to the 32. The Cardinals and Kyler Murray set to take over. And as we see some of the highlights from their showing, his work a big part of why they're in front right now. Having a nice, solid game as their offensive leader. I think we can say he's had a firm grip on the wheel and has really driven them to this advantage. Hey, you go into halftime with a double-digit lead, your number one objective, and they'll all say it in that locker room, it's 0-0 zero, zero to begin the second half. So you want to come out firing the same way you did in that first half, and that kick returner, he took matters in his own hands. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Ready to start this drive with Connor. And they love to see him fighting forward, but he only gets him three. Got to be rush hour, Kate, because there's a whole lot of traffic up the middle right there. <laughs> he ran right into some gridlock, and he could only manage a few yards at most. Second down now, seven to go. Kyler throwing here. That pass is complete to McBride. And they're on him after about a two-yard gain. That's Denzel Perryman in on the stop. So now here's third and five. Here's Kyler to throw. He isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. That's why these coaches get paid, Kate, what they get paid. you got to make adjustments. That's a different look at defense than the one we saw in the first half. And you got to keep fighting, keep scratching, keep clawing because that effort is going to be key here the rest of the way. The Cardinals out for the punt. And this is the second time he's been brought on to kick it. And he'll have this fair catch right along the 25. We don't get a return out of that punt. And the Chargers take possession. Now L.A. getting its offense all set to go. They're running out of time to get this game into a more manageable spot, Brock. We've got a three-score deficit, and we're in quarter number three. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Shotgun snap to Herbert. Finds a seam down the middle. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the chains. Great start to the drive. They're up in the neighborhood of midfield after just one play. Herbert on first down. To the ground it goes, that's incomplete.
No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Back to the air. Herbert. like this you gotta be a fixer i mean this game is hard and you get into passing known passing situations it gets even more difficult but when you don't get rid of the ball and you take another sack you make this third down a near impossibility let's see what they went with on third down working from the gun here it's herbert he throws a bullet to the center of the field Denied by the man in coverage. And they're going to be stuck with a fourth and long. I don't fault the look downfield at all. I mean, that's just a situation there where it's a better defensive play than the offense executed. On now comes their punter. J.K. Scott will kick it away. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is it far. That's taken at the 15. And he puts together a nice little return there before they're able to bring him down. The Cardinals offense making its way out. And taking a look at these highlights, Brock, just a reminder of the type of game that they have had throwing the football. It really has been the key to their success. Yeah, they've just not only stayed on schedule here, Kate. I mean, they've made some music, right? Great mm -hmm. rhythm. Yeah. Not just ahead of schedule, but huge plays that follow. We've seen a lot of different looks and wrinkles throughout this performance, and it's been a joy to watch. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Handoff goes to Connor, running left. And that one's going to back the offense up just a bit here. And this isn't resolved quite yet as he goes out. We've got a flag down. Looks like it's going to be on the offense. Well, partner, they say there's holding on every play. You just got to look for it, right? Uh, that time, though, we did not have to look too hard. Straight ahead, it's Connor. And it's a nice little chunk here, six yards. Making the tackle there, Joey Bosa. Back to the line they go, it's second down. Running left, it's Connor. Broke through the tackle. And he crosses the sideline a yard or two beyond, it looks like, the 30. He picks up eight on the run, and now they're going to have third and four. Play action now, Murray. They'll get this one to Connor. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. Awareness. Kate, you hear me and so many others talk about it a lot with quarterbacks, but it's critical for every unit on a, on a football field. And for the defense right there, to have an awareness of knowing where the marker was and to make sure that completion wasn't going to move the chains. Fourth down and on comes the punt team and the kicks away. And a fair catch made without incidents just inside the 25. The Charger offense making its way to the field. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And, man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Back to throw. Here's Herbert. And he let his man just a little too much there. That's an incomplete pass. Looking for his wide receiver there. So that brings up second down. 
Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get aggressive downfield. I love the call. I love pushing the ball down the field. But the windows and the throwing lanes aren't there long. And it only takes a little bit for the throw to be off. They'll run now on second down. He breaks even, but that's it. Brought down at that line of scrimmage. Luda Baker bringing that one to an end. No gain on the play, and they still need 10 now on third down. This wide receiver run game, what it really does, Kate, is it tests the soundness of your defense. How assignment sound are you? Well, that was an excellent example of this defense doing its work on the practice field and more importantly put into execution on the game field. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. And I can promise you, you go back and look at the most efficient offenses in the NFL over the last couple decades, one thing will resonate. You've got to be able to attack the middle of the field. It's great to do with receivers, toss them with tight ends, but when you get that influence from your running backs, man, you become a dangerous offense to stop. They're set up at the 35 now. First and 10, here's Herbert. Able to hit Palmer, complete. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. You know, I often say there is a fine line between aggressiveness and carelessness. And when you throw in a double coverage, well, it can go either way. That time, a tremendous catch by his receiver on the other end. On second down, here's Dobbins. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. I don't know about you, Kate, but he sure made getting that first down look really easy. A lot easier than it's supposed to be for that defense. And I think they'll hear about it when they get to the sidelines. New set of downs for him from the 46. They go play action. Here's Herbert. They left him wide open. It's complete. And he takes it inside the 35 before heading out. An excellent gain. 20 yards there, and that's going to move the sticks. I love classic routes versus zone defense. Those zone defenders are dropping to their spots. And with all of that horizontal action, they often get lost in zone coverage just like that. Now run on first down with Dobbins. And he's going to end the one yard on that drive off the gut. Will Baker bringing that one to an end. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. I've talked to running backs over the years, Kate, in the transition from the college game to the pro game. I'll tell you, there's just times in the NFL you've got to run into darkness. You run into a lot of bodies. Perfect example of that in the first down play. He finds McConkey. And he is in. Touchdown, Los Angeles. The Chargers shrinking the lead some in the third. Let McConkey with a touchdown. There sure was a lot of trust on that play, Brock, and he proved worthy of it with that end result. Yeah, good old receiver. Someone who just knows how to get it into the end zone is worth his weight in gold to a QB. And on that throw, there was trust there that he had a shot to find Pater. Now it's Cameron Dicker on for the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Chargers make it an 11-point ball game. They're all lined up and ready to boot it away. Dorch now to return it. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. The home teams returning their offense and this running back to the field. Drive starts out with a first and ten. 
Connor here from the gun. And he found some running room for a nice game. Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. Carry here for Connor. And that short game is enough for a new set of down. You know what I love about that play call? It was simple. Nobody overthinking on the sideline or out on the field. Just an offense going to work and moving those chains. Here's first and ten from the 34. Now Kyler. Completed over the middle. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. New set of downs for him from the 46. The first down carry for Connor. And he'll pull his way ahead for a four-yard pickup. Second and six coming up here. Kyler looking to throw. He's got him. That's McBride. And he gets him around six there. Stopped by Dayon Henley. Battle coming up on third and inches. Here's Connor on the option. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. That's a short gain of one. And it'll be first down, Arizona. That is your old school meat and potatoes call right there. Don't even think about throwing it. Just rush it ahead and get what you need. Now head up, first and ten from the 42. Going with Connor here. And he won't win the race to the outside. That runs bottled up at the line. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. I know these DNs love to get to the quarterback. I know that sacks many times equals a bigger payday. But doing the dirty work, playing the run well, that's what the best of the ends do in this league. On second down, a run with Connor. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. They get about four there, need a little more than that now on third and six. Here's Murray. Forfeit. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop him. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. In theory, Kate, that's exactly what complimentary man coverage is supposed to look like. The DBs, well, they're sticky on the back end of it. The front end, that pass rush, it makes an impact. It gets home. But, of course, we know it's not that simple. It is really tough to lock down a full field for more than a second or two. So out now comes the punter. Blake Gillikin will kick it away. So this one carries all the way to the sideline and out. No chance to make a play on that. And they'll take over at the 16-yard line. Chance here for one final play before the end of the quarter. Here's Herbert, first and ten. Johnston brings it in. And he's going to end up out of bounds, which will end our third quarter. Only one quarter remains in our final game of the week. That's the end of the third. The Chargers have the ball, and they're going to need to score. They come in trailing.
Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. Running left, it's Dobbins. And he'll get it up to the 27. A gain of a lone yard, but Brock, that's all they needed. First down. That's certainly a spot where you could be more aggressive, kid, if you wanted to take your shots. But some coaches, even the bolder ones, will take the safe play first when they get it from time to time. No third down required now. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. Running it again with Dobbins. Oh, he loses the football. And the Cardinals grab it. And they stop him before he gets much on return. This really should be the last place and the last down you expect to fumble on. There's still two, three, maybe more to work with. Just take care of the ball. Go down when you're hit and set up for second down. Out had the Cardinals now on offense. And this certainly isn't the rut they want to be in, Brock. All of their drives have been ending in punts as of late. While a new offense preps to head out, we've got a stoppage. They want to make sure this is a turnover. All right, so we all know what we're looking for here, Brock. Where did an elbow, maybe a knee, something touch down? And as it does, is the ball loose at that point? Yeah, throw in forearm, wrist, shin. <laughs> There's no question the offensive guy's screaming something hit the ground while the defense is hoping it didn't. So the review saves them a turnover. He was, in fact, already down when the ball came free. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Herbert from the gun. Got a man. Pulver has it. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. There's no question the greatest concern there was just getting the first down. You want a high percentage throw, and you're not really concerned about big yards. Well, the drag route was perfect. He comes open the short field. It's easy to zip that throw right in there and reset those chains. Throwing on first is Herbert. He's marking one or something here and just chucks it away. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Throwing now, Herbert. Finding Hurst. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. They come to the line here, and this is third and six. Herbert once more. He has the first over the middle. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. A nine-yard gain and good for a first down. was looking for Lab McConkey. And now they face second down. Herbert throwing again. He's throwing deep to the left side. That one is incomplete. Come hang on through the contact. No, there's not a lot of tight ends who are true weapons this far down the field. Not a lot of cover guys who can match up with them in terms of size. They tried to get it to him in a spot where he could win it. No connection to be made. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Herbert's a throw once more. Complete. 
reach beyond the marker. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. They have themselves another first and ten. Now again, running right. Nice run across the 15. And it's a really nice gain on the reverse. That call came at the perfect time. They get 18 yards out of it and a new set of downs. Okay, don't think for a second this is time you step off the gas. You can feel this defense, right? They're on their heels. And now is the best chance to go push the envelope and get aggressive. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and ten. From the red zone now. And he will score. Touchdown, Los Angeles. The Chargers now within one score in the fourth. I think we actually saw him call it early there, Brock. He made that throw, and then he signaled it was going to be a touchdown. Like a guy calling it before his three-pointer goes through the net. Oh, you mean like Larry Legend Bird Ooh. in the three-point shooting contest of the 80s? Well, maybe I like know, a Tyrese you... Maxine, you know, but whatever. Well, I... The kids aren't alive, I get it. And they weren't <laughs> alive in the 80s. They didn't see Larry Legend do it, but he did. And he anticipated, just like the quarterback. Crucial moment of the game here as the Chargers try for two. Herbert's going to look to throw for this. Nothing doing on that two-point opportunity. A fail on the conversion. So a little pressure alleviated by the touchdown, but plenty still remains. Going to need to manufacture another trip to the end zone as they trail by five. This feels a little bit like a golf event to me, Kate, where those golfers will spend a big round not even looking at the scoreboard, not even know where they sit. But then when it gets down to winning time, they do know exactly what they need. And to consider that golf analogy, well, this team now needs a birdie when it matters the most. making this a five-point ball game. They kick it off. Dallas with a return. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Cardinals in possession of it once again. And after that touchdown, cut their lead back to one score, Bronk. A response in order as they take over. They're out and set, first and ten. Shotgun handoff to Connor. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. Give him five on that carry, bringing up second and five. from the gun. Here's Murray. Why not go back to it again if it's working? Complete. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. New set of downs for him at the 38. First and 10. Murray. He's got it to him yet again. That is caught. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy in midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. In a good spot here, second and inches. Running this with Connor. He's officially in the enemy territory. Three yards there and enough to move the chains. That was the perfect play call for that particular situation. Gave him enough to pick up a first with some room to spare. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. It's Connor again. And that's only one yard up the middle. Gonna be second down. 
It's plays like that, Kate, that I'm happy I'm the color analyst and you and your spotter are doing play-by-play -play, because that was a mass of humanity, a whole bunch of bodies to sort through for one yard. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Now Murray on the play fake. An all-around tough play for him. He took a shot on the release, and it definitely affected the throw. It's incomplete. Well, that's one you chalk up to the pressure earning that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target, hit him, altered that last second attempt to get rid of it. No connection on the last play, and out third down. Play action now, Murray. Buying some time right. Oh, he's got it! And he works this to the 38 before going down. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. Oh, man, those defensive players hate slipping quarterbacks. Near impossible to keep them hedged in or corral them behind the line there. He evades them long enough to turn a potential loss into positive yardage. Connor on the inside give. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. Kate, you really do love those five-yard gains on first down. You know what it kind of feels like? It kind of feels like making pars on the golf course on the par threes. And now, on the par fives, you can go let it rip. From the 33 on second down. No place to go, so he just threw it away. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. From the gun, it's Murray. Has him on the quick hitter. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. He gets six on that play, and that's a Cardinals first down. Well, the odds aren't great when you throw into double coverage. Normally, you see one of the defenders make a play on the ball. Two men nearby and that's a missed opportunity for the coverage to make an impact play. On first and ten, it's Murray. Gets this one to Harrison. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. To the air, Murray. So pass brought in. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. It's a design boot. Sometimes these dudes can be a quarterback's best friend, finding the tight end in the end zone for six. And it really has been that way for decades when you think about it, Kate. From John Mackey to Tony Gonzalez to Travis Kelsey, the position could be such a mismatch when you're throwing for the end zone. Ryland now for the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Cardinals push the lead up to 12. All set now for the kickoff. Ryland with the honors. Here's a return from the seven. 
And this drive will start inside the 25. Possession switching back to the LA offense as they head out. They just witnessed maybe the most impressive drive we've seen all game, Brock. And now they get a chance to answer with one of their own. They'll get this drive starting. First and ten. They get it on the ground here with Dobbins. And he drives that front backward on a gain of four. Moving quickly, trying to get set again. Working from the gun here, it's Herbert. He's on the move. Now here he goes. Well, it's seven yards on the play, and that's enough for the first down. It's the two-minute warning from Glendale. Chargers down by 12. Down a couple of scores, but still some time left, and three timeouts as well. It's first and ten. To throw. A bit of desperation on this deep shot. And he takes this in. Touchdown, Los Angeles. The Chargers now within one score in the fourth. Now, I know that's one of his favorite routes to run, Brock, but that has got to be one of a quarterback's favorite throws to make as well, right? Drop it in over the defender and take the lid off the D for six. Because it is so, so simple. Mm. It's something that these two have done and, and thrown together for years and years. Maybe not to each other, but since Pop Warner, they've been running the goal route. Just run right by him, and if you're even, you're leaving, and I'm going to drop it right over the top. Dicker tacks on the extra point. And the Chargers trim the deficit down to five. Now to return it. Oh, he's shown some burst on this return. He's a racing pass for field. Field flipping return as he brought it down on the opposite side of the 50. Well, by the time he shifted into a different gear and began that foot race up the left sideline, you could tell this return was already getting out of hand. And what a gift for this offense, who now gets to take over. A lot of the work in the field position already done. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Straight ahead, it's Connor. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. The defense calls a timeout, so that's their first. And they are quite frustrated having to call that after giving up the first. Drive picks up here, first and ten. Out of the option, he's going to keep it going right. And he's able to push forward to the 25. L.A. uses a timeout here. It's second. As they'll meet and decide what to do on this second down. It's Connor. 
And they'll stop him after a short pickup to the 24. The Chargers call a timeout. That's their last one. And they'll take a moment to ponder what the call is going to be on third down. is that the defense is helpless to stop it. You could just run that clock down as far as you're able and take off every single second. I kneel down here, and they can start to celebrate this win. Your favorite formation, White Brock, the victory formation here as he takes a knee. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot. And now you can enjoy the victory. So the Cardinals pick up the win in this one. And finally, Brock, they can exhale and take a few breaths. Because uh, I don't imagine any of them were breathing easy during that one with how close this game was. Them or us? <laughs> all of us. Yeah, D, is, all of the above. It, it is so hard, Kate, to match the adrenaline surge they feel right now and that they felt at every major turn throughout the second half. There's just something about a close game, the intensity that's there in every moment that you love to experience as a player, and that you hope in all these moments you can execute so you're the one celebrating and riding that wave of emotion. 